Hi guys, uh, uh, today's challenge on Simon Says Stem, the Wednesday challenge to make a tag with Tim Holtz products. So I thought I'd make a tag of watercolor paper using the Crazy Bird, which I already stamped in another version of this video, so I'm sorry. And um, the only thing I need, I thought maybe I will do a bit of background with it. But for the bird, I'm going to use Distress Inks to color them. And my favorite combo at the moment is Peacock Feathers and um, Builded Violet, which I have to dig out. Sorry. <coughs> um, I don't know if there's such a bird that is blue and purple, but in my mind, there is. And Peacock Feathers, of course, is such a fabulous color. You could also use the re English for this, which makes a little bit more sense actually because you're gonna water it down and then the color changes a lot. But for now, use my brush and wet down the area you want purple or blue. I'm stuck with purple, of course. Because it's purple. See how it flows? That's because I made the paper wet and the water just pulls it out. It acts like a wig. And that's actually kind of what you want. And this is a Schut, it's a Dutch company, hot pressed smooth watercolor which I like because it's easier to stamp on because it doesn't have all those ridges that sometimes watercolor has watercolor paper I mean and well, if you have uh, misty then re-stamping is not a problem but if you do it with a normal stamping press or acrylic block you <laughs> might just ruin your project more than once so I'm also kind of flicking it in so the colors will mix but that's essentially everything I let it dry a little bit and then I come back and do a bit of shading because I think it won't take the shading if it's too wet quite warm here. I have the heater on. Because without a heater it's not warm. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know what the weather is in the rest of the world, but in the Netherlands it's pretty dull and grey and yeah. The sun has poked out a little bit today, but at least you know it's dry. I don't like to go out when it rains. <laughs> if you have to, you have to. Okay, use a bit of orange. Spice marmalade. And a teeny, oh, teeny tiny brush. I actually have two glasses of water here, one for clean and one for dirty brushes. So <laughs> don't end up using them that way. I mean, the water's not discolored that much, so until it does, I'm not switching. Um, for the background, I'm gonna do some iced which is, yeah, I don't know, bluish, greenish, grey in my world. That's, I mean, that's how I perceive the colors. You might see it differently. I 
I like him to stand on the stone or something. <coughs> And this paper is so thick, it doesn't really warp. It's kind of undulated a little bit, but it stays nice. I uh, like that. For the background, I thought maybe I can do just a little corner of it. So I don't have to mask anything off. I was thinking, because it's called Holiday Knit, do I do it in red or do I use colors that I use on the bird, which is, you know, purple, it makes me sing, and I think there's a cat coming to say hi. <coughs> Okay, um, I think I will go for a really light shade of green. There she is. Um, shabby shutters. If it were snowflakes, I would probably use a um, blue tint, just because I like the frosty look of blue snowflakes. There you go. I'm not leaving it as it is now. You will see. By going over it with a brush of blue later. And I'm gonna put a little bit more fuel paint darker shades in it. Oops, I'm a bit clumsy today. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Days are always hard, it's like a dip in a week. Oh, yeah. Okay, <coughs> okay. I'll clean it off later. But what I want to do now with Clean water is going around back round and a really small brush, which I think this might be too big. Yeah. I'm going to pass over the pieces that we stenciled to move the color a little bit but also to soften the edges and that will give it a feeling of watercolor I've done it on a Christmas card with snowflakes and it looked like they were blue because I used white um, blue snowflakes on a white background and you don't have to be really precise because you know what the color isn't if you like coloring outside the lines i think this is just for you if you add too much water you can dip it off um you don't have to do all of it you can just, you know, think I want to do only the big bars. Okay. That was a quick way. If we try it 
way, if I do it with a really big brush. This one is weird. I don't know how hard I must have used it to see if you see them. You move the color too much. I don't like that. Feel free to experiment and find your own happy medium. You could also spray it if you if you like to have it moving a lot then you can use a spray. And because this is smooth all the paper and hot press it, it stays on the surface more. That's really good for blending if you're using your blending tools. And of course for blending here. I don't know if you can see it because it's really, really nice. And these are very soft. But you know you can still see the shapes, but they're less harsh. And that is for a quick and easy tag, I would say. See what the middle is. Thereabouts. It is five, six, eight, eight. My God, that's it. When is this hard? Eight and a half, so two, well, you know, I'll make it here. There's my hole puncher, which I hope will cut through this. I never tried it on this thick paper. Well, yeah, but well, that's okay. If you really want to add some shading. Um, you could even take a darker one. Oh, that's really dark. <laughs> yeah, I, I put little, um, well, self diesel rounds on it and then swipe the color because the the lid is not the true color but this doesn't really look like one I swipe and take a really small brush uh, new the cube and this I think is too green I don't have the lucky clover yet. It probably should have been the right tint. We can just go around one of the edges and give it. Make sure it's always the same side. And again, you don't have to do them all. I'm sorry if my, my voice is a bit raspy, but I think I'm getting a cold. And that's usually how it starts. See, and then you can do that. Water them down, but the idea is to give it shading, so you should probably use oh, that's a little bit darker. I'm 
starting to whisper. I'm sorry, that's what I usually do. I, I whisper to my cats. I always think that my downstairs neighbors, they will hear it. And then they think I'm a crazy cat lady because I talk to my cats. Probably am yeah, if I talk to my cats, but nobody needs to know. Right? Really simple. And oh, see, stencil. Didn't go all the way to the end, so I'll cut that off. Then the hole won't be in the middle anymore. <laughs> oh, three point nine. Well, I'm fine. I will go and pause you for a second and then go find a sentiment stamp. I, I like to go with it. Let's hang on. So I'm back and I just found this from uh, Lon Fon. It says, All I want for Christmas is you. And I thought if you use this from the Crazy Birds, or I had used this from the Crazy Bird. It kind of looks like an owl. You could have used that sentiment. Okay. No. Merry Christmas. He's a little bit small. All is calm, all is bright. He sure is bright, but... Yeah. And this Merry Christmas, I think, is too white. So, no. And then I have all these. May the magic and wonder of winter be yours. Yeah. Wonderful winter wishes are being sent your way. What do you think? Dashing through the snow is not really dashing. All you need is tea and warm socks. Warm winter wishes. Yeah. Wonderful winter wishes are being sent your way. Which might be weird because it's a tag and not a card. Kind of like it for its size. Um, where did my <coughs> I will also stamp it with stays on. I'm not sure it's worth a fine waterproof. Try that. I just got it. Um, I don't know yet. I'm sorry if my head's in the way. I like to leave it there a little bit because it is watercolor paper, and just to give it time for the ink to transfer, hopefully, in one go. Yay! Um, and I should probably, if you have a corner punch, you could try and punch, it's really thick, 300 grams, I think that's 140 pounds, big. so I'd rather not risk it getting stuck. Oh, cut it off. And give it a tech shape. Of course, um, Tim Holtz makes beautiful manila tags and stuff. I don't have them, but you could use those if you're entering into the sound system challenge. And why not? Ooh. I already <coughs> cleaned it up, but I think. Shading. The shading on the bird is really subtle, so I kind of like it. You know, you can give it specs like it is stone and ruin your project in the 
Was ist das? Yeah. I do that sometimes. To you, don't think you're almost done and then you go and add something else and then you just ruin it. I do that all the time. Okay, I'll pause you again for a little bit and I'll go and find some ribbon. Hang on. I bought these today. Glitter ribbon. And I thought, the green, and well, it's pink, but I think that will go well. And it's not, it's like um, fabric ribbon is up. Plastic ribbon I use on the gifts. It's quite fabulous actually. It has glitter on it. What more do you want? I'm in a bit of a hurry because my phone is going to cut off at 30 minutes, so I'm trying to rush it. That's why I pause it. And then you don't need to see. <laughs> Wait for me to go get the ribbon and stuff. It's a gift wrapping ribbon. I think you can curly it. Okay. Um, and on the back, it's now got sticky tape on it because it, it's here. So I will put a piece of paper on it that says to and from, and or use the sticky to put it on the, on the gift, which is not this. This is my uh, crazy bird with a holiday knit stencil and a Joycraft, I think it was. Yeah, Joycraft Winter Wishes Stars for the sentiment. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!